As recent software supply chains attacks have shown, if you compromise an on-prem Active Directory and the adversary is able to get a golden ticket for the network and cloud, there's not even a speed bump between on-premise compromise to a cloud service provider that trusts that on-prem credential. There is a root of trust. So if you compromise that identity, that root of trust is broken on any server or endpoint. And sometimes the only way to see it start is when a service account starts acting like a user account. There are more than twice the number of devices to human beings in any organization, once you count workstations, mobile devices, and servers. And once you add in service accounts attached to applications, that number increases again. Endpoint controls that can stop malware are a first line of defense against many attacks in the zero trust architecture. And both AV and EDR are critical for stopping many kinds of attacks. Falcon Identity Protection is a key part to any identity security initiative and as part of incident investigations and response, can provide the key knowledge of who and which credentials were involved with anomalous activity for your network, whether on-prem or in the cloud. Falcon Identity Protection empowers you with the ability to take action in real time to decide how to treat an authentication. Rather than just alerting and telling you that something suspicious happened that you should follow up on, Falcon Identity Protection gives you the flexibility to create policy rules and take a variety of actions, reducing the number of alerts to investigate and oftentimes resolving the incident with no human intervention. Each policy rule can be based on a user's identity, behavior, or risk. All that was learned during the initial stage can be leveraged as a rule condition. A few examples included, is the user a human or service account? What group or OU does the user belong to? Is the user privileged? And if so, what privileges does the user have? Does the user have a compromised password or another risk factor? Does the user have a high risk score? Or is it authenticating to an endpoint? It typically does not. Rule conditions can also be based on endpoint. What is the source or destination of you or group? Does the endpoint have a high risk score? Is the endpoint domain joined? If an authentication matches all the conditions set in a policy, then Falcon Identity Protection can take action in real time. In this supply chain attack example, the action is to simply block an authentication when we see a service account attempting to interactively log into an endpoint using RDP or a remote desktop protocol. A great example of this we often see customers take advantage of is to block service accounts from authenticating interactively. A simple rule can both alert and prevent misuse of service accounts by adversaries attempting a supply chain attack. Why not force service accounts to act as service accounts, which should never perform interactive logins like remote desktop? And here in this interactive demo, you can see that a we're attempting to authenticate or RDP to another server using the administrator credentials. The administrator account is a service account and seeing this attempt to authenticate interactively will be blocked based on the policy rule we just saw. So now as I enter, enter the administrator's username and password, you'll see this error pop up saying the user has been restricted from authenticating to that resource. CrowdStrike Identity Protection is the industry's only cloud native solution to stop breaches in real time for any endpoint, workload, or identity.